Hello students, this is Asma Babwani. Today I will explain you Social Science of Grade 7, Chapter 4, Medieval Architecture, Cities, Merchants and Craftsmen. Let's start the chapter. Medieval Architecture Indian sculpture art forms have a unique and long heritage. India is world famous for its rich cultural heritage of art and architecture. Since ancient times, in different periods, a lot of development has been there in architecture like stupas and stone inscriptions built in different provinces during Mauryan age, Gandhar and Mathura style of stupas during post-Mauryan era, palaces, stupas, pillars, monasteries, mansions and temples during Gupta period were constructed. In the Middle Ages, the Pala, Pratihar, Rashtrakuta, Rajput, Delhi Sultanate and Mughal rulers did a lot of work in the field of architecture, which includes steppes, lakes, temples and mosques. Different provinces of India have developed architectural heritage in their own ways. Students, as we all know that India is world famous for its rich cultural heritage of art and architecture. During Mauryan age, stupas and monuments as well as Gandhar and Mathura style of stupas were constructed during post-Mauryan era. Then, during Delhi Sultanate and Mughal rulers, they built steppes, lakes, temples, mosques, tombs, rojas, etc. during their time. Sculpture The art of a sculptor's imagination is the form of decorating rock, wood or metal with the help of chisel and hammer. Students, the art in which the sculptor he imagines and he decorates a big piece of rock or wood or metal with the help of chisel and hammer. Chisel and hammer is chheni and hatodi. Okay, जो sculptor होता है वो अपने imagination के हिसाब से एक big पत्थर से बड़े rock में से उसको उसके अंदर work करके cut work करके उसमें से या तो किसी की मूर्ति बनाता है या कोई particular artistic design बनाता है okay architecture the word shilp shastra is also used for architecture architecture basically means construction architecture is the construction of houses towns, wells, forts, minarets, tombs, etc. A person who is proficient in architecture is called an architect. Students, the word Shilp Shastra is used for architecture. It was actually used in olden days. But now we all uh, recognize this word for architecture as construction. Construction of houses, towns, wells, forts, minarets, temples, mosques, tombs, steppes, lakes, etc. All these constructions are called architectures. And the person who is proficient, the person who is expert in architecture, who studies architecture is called an architect. Architecture of India The period between 700 AD to 1200 AD was the Rajput era. In Rajput era, Nagar styles of the temple were prevalent in India. These include the temples of Khajurao, Lingraj temple of Puri and Gop temple of Saurashtra. During the time of Delhi Sultanate, a new style of architecture developed, which was associated with Islam, in which Arab style is predominant in the beginning. The three main structures in this architecture are the mosque, the tomb and the roja. Among the main architectural structures of Delhi Jama Masjid, Qutub Minar, Hose Khas, Alai Darwaza and Siri Fort are there. The mosques and canals built by Feroz Shah are unique. The Muslim rulers of Gujarat, Bengal and Malwa, they built many structures during this time. The Badra Fort and Jama Masjid of Ahmedabad, Sona Mosque of Bengal are important. The fort of Kumbalgarh built by Rana Kumba and Kirti Stamp or Vijay Stamp of Chittor are important pieces of Hindu architecture built during this time. This time means during Delhi Sultanate. Students, in the architectures of Rajput era, Nagar styles of temples were very prevalent. They used to uh, build temples in Nagar styles in North India. And these temples include the temple of Khajurao, Lingraj temple of Puri and Gop temple of Saurashtra. 
mosques tombs and rojas are the main architecture of arab style which is associated with islam then jama masjid qutub minar hoze khas alai darwaza siri fort etc they are the main architectures of delhi sultanate badra fort and jama masjid of ahmedabad and sona mosque of bengal built by muslim rulers are the important architectures The fort of Kumbalgarh built by Rana Kumbha and Kirti Stam or Vijay Stam it is known as Kirti Stam and Vijay Stam both are the name of the same stam you can see the picture of Vijay Stam in your textbook on page number 19 so this Vijay Stam of Chittor are important pieces of hindu architectures built during the time of delhi sultanate Sun Temple of Karnak and Holeshwar Temple of Karnataka are some of the most special types of architecture of the 13th century The Karnak Sun Temple is located near the Bay of Bengal in Puri district of Odisha. This temple was built in 13th century during the reign of King Narasim Varman I of Gang dynasty. This chariot temple was built like the chariot of sun pulled by 7 horses. It has 12 wide wheels. This temple is also known as Black Pagoda because it is built of black stone. Students In Karnak there is Sun Temple which is located in Odisha state and there is Holeshwar Temple of Karnataka that is in Karnataka uh, state Holeshwar Temple is there and uh, they have the most special type of architectures they were built in 13th century and the Sun Temple of Karnak is located near the Bay of Bengal that is in east of India in Jagatna uh, Jagannath Puri district of Odisha state This temple was built in 13th century during the reign of King Narasi Varman I. He was uh, from Gang dynasty. This temple is built like a chariot, okay? And uh, it is built like it is the chariot of the sun god and there are seven horses built there. It also has 12 wide that is 12 big wheels, six on one side and six on another side maybe. And it gives a beauty to the crunch of this chariot, okay? This temple is also known as Black Pagoda. Black Pagoda word is uh, given to this temple because it was built this full temple is built with black stone. So it is known as Black Pagoda. Temples in North India are characterized by their rounded pinnacles and columnless compartments that is mandaps. Temples in South India were built with conical spires that is peaks. Gopuram's temple entrance tower is the specialty of the temples in South India. Students the temples of north india and south india were uh, slightly different in their characteristics in their structures the temples of north india they had round pinnacles and the compartments were columnless like uh, when you enter the temple there is a, a mandap like structure and the temples of south india it has conical spires that is conical round peaks and the speciality of the south temples are the big entrance which were known as gopuram they have a huge entrance when you enter the temple so this is a difference between north india temples and south india temples temples are characterized by sanctum sanctorium antaral mandap shringa choki or mukh mandap even pradakshina path is also there students the structure of the temple is made in such a way that most of the temples have these characteristics like the temple have pradakshina path around the temple for the people to walk around the temple then there is sanctum inside there is sanctorium antaral uh, there is mandap in the temple a long way in the temple then there is shringa choki or mukh mandap okay and uh, the inner sanctum is known as garb guru also Some of the important temples of this uh, period include chariot temples built during Pallav period and Raj Rajeshwar temple at Tanjore which was considered to be the tallest temple of that time. Students the temples which were built in 13th century they almost used to have chariot kind of structure in them uh, especially during Pallav dynasty and uh, Raj Rajeshwar temple which is at Tanjore it is also it was considered uh, to be the tallest temple of that time. The Mughal architecture was unique. A special example of architecture can be seen in Humayun's tomb. The Mughal emperor Akbar built the fort of Agra and the fort of Fatehpur Sikri. The tomb of Sasaram of Sher Shah Suri is an important architecture of this time. The Mughals started the tradition of developing gardens. These include the Nishant Bagh in Kashmir, the Shalimar Bagh of Lahore and the Aram Bagh of Agra. Students 
Mughal architecture was of special kind. Humayun's tomb in Delhi is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture. Mughal Emperor Akbar built a huge fort at Agra. He established a town named Fatehpur Sikri 36 kilometers away from Agra and constructed Buland Darwaza, the Palace of Birbal, the Palace of Jodabai, Panch Mahal, the tomb of Sheikh Salim Chisti, Jami Masjid, etc. Even the tomb of Sasaram which was built by Sher Shah Suri, it is also significant Mughal architecture. The best specimen of Mughal architecture is the Taj Mahal built by Shah Jaha. Taj Mahal constructed on the banks of river Yamuna in Agra, Uttar Pradesh is one of the seven wonders of the world. It was built by Shah Jaha to commemorate his Begum Mumtaz Mahal. Taj Mahal glorifies the architectural heritage of India and is becoming a center of attraction for tourists all around the world. In addition to this, Red Fort of Delhi was built by Shah Jaha. Beautiful buildings like Diwane Aam, Diwane Khas, Rang Mahal were built in this fort which is made of red stone. Its decoration is a wonderful combination of gold, silver and precious stones. It was in this fort that Shah Jaha got built the artistic Mayurasana. Students, Mughal rulers also like to make or you can say built gardens. They used to develop new gardens. And a few gardens built during the Mughal dynasty were Nishant Bagh, which is in Kashmir, then uh, Shalimar Bagh, which is in Lahore, and one more example is Aram Bagh, which is in Agra. Students, Shah Jaha built a magnificent Taj Mahal on the banks of river Yamuna in Agra in Uttar Pradesh state to commemorate his Begum Mumtaz Mahal, who died in 1630 AD. Taj Mahal is considered one of the most unique tombs in the world. The Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. It is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture. The Taj Mahal with its unparalleled beauty, it glorifies Mughal architectural heritage. It is a center of immense attraction for tourists all around the world. In 1638 AD, Shah Jahan built Red Fort in Delhi. Red stones were used in this fort to build in Mughal style. Shah Jahan established a town named Shah Jahanabad after his name inside this fort. The beautiful buildings like Diwane Aam, Diwane Khas, Rang Mahal were built in this fort. The building Diwane Khas is decorated with gold, silver and precious stones. Shah Jahan built the artistic Mayurasana of gold to sit in Diwane Khas. The Red Fort of Delhi is a wonderful and best building of Mughal architecture. Aurangzeb built the tomb of Rabirud Doran Bibi Ka Makbara in Aurangabad in the memory of his wife which is as artistic as Taj Mahal. During this time, the best architectural piece, the Golden Temple of the Sikh sect was built in Amritsar. Students, the Golden Temple in Amritsar is the best architectural piece of Sikh community. Architecture of Gujarat During the Solanki rule and Sultanate period in Gujarat, a very high standard architecture was constructed. Solanki architecture includes the renovation of the Temple of Somnath by Bhimdev in 11th century and the Sun Temple at Modera. Students, in Gujarat, Solanki architectures include two very high standards architectures like the first one was the renovation of the temple of Somnath by Solanki king Bhimdev in 11th century and the sun temple at Modera. The Somnath temple is located in Prabhas Patan near Veraval. Somnath is a very ancient, rich and important center of Shaivism. Today, only the location of the old temple can be seen. The new temple was built in 1951. Somnath is one of the 12 most sacred Jyotirlingas in India. Students, the Somnath temple is located in Prabhas Patan near Veraval of Gir Somnath district. Somnath is a very ancient, rich and famous temple of Shaivism. And as I told you, as I explained you in chapter 1, that seeing the abundant wealth in India, Sultan Muhammad Ghazni of Ghazna, he tried to invade India several times and during one of his invasion, he invaded Somnath temple and looted in 1026 AD. 
and today new temple is seen in the place of the old temple somnath temple is an important center of power devotion and culture of india as per the plan of the renovation of the somnath temple the new temple was built in 1951 ad by solanki king bhimdev 1 and it is one of the 12 most sacred jyotirlings in india the upper court fort is in junagadh city the original name of upper court was giri durg ra khengar provided water facility by constructing adi khadi steppel and navgan well a saying is there if you have not seen adi khadi steppel and navgan well your life is worthless students upper court fort is located in junagadh that is in gujarat state and the original name of upper court was giri durg ra khengar he was the king uh, during rajput era of uh, junagadh and he built adi khadi wow that is step well and navgan well to provide water facility to the people of the city and a famous saying is there about these two architectures that if you have not seen adi khadi step well and navgan well your life is worthless that means once in a life a lifetime at least once in a lifetime you should go and see these two wells The Sun Temple at Modhera in Mehsana district of Gujarat was built during the reign of King Bhimdev I of the Solanki era. The east entrance of the temple was designed in such a way that the first rays of the sun radiated to sanctum sanctorium at the far end of the temple and fell on the gem in the center of crown of sun god's idol. As a result, the whole atmosphere seems to be filled with divinity. 12 different idols of the sun can be seen in this temple even today there is a total of 108 small temples around the water tank outside the temple which creates a beautiful view when the lamps are lit at dawn and dusk students the sun temple of modera is located at modera of mehsana district in north gujarat It was built in 1026 AD during the reign of King Bhimdev I of the Solanki era. The entrance of the temple was in the east. It was designed in such a way that the first rays of the sun entered the sanctum at the far end of the temple and fell on the gem in the center of the crown of God's son's idol and whole temple is illuminated by a beam of light. As a result, whole atmosphere seems to be filled with divinity. Twelve different idols of sun can be seen in this temple even today also. There is a total of 108 small temples around the water tank outside the temple. It creates a beautiful view when the lamps are lit at dawn and dusk. And students, Sun Temple of Modera has international fame due to its artistic architecture and prosperous sculpture. Rani ni Wow built by Udaymati the queen of king Bhimdev is a specimen of the world famous step well Rani ni Wow is a unique example of sculpture and a marvel of architecture of a seven story step well it is existing in Patan the old capital of Gujarat it was built by king Bhimdev's wife queen Udaymati after his death UNESCO has designated this site as the world heritage site students King Bhimdev's wife Queen Udaymati built step well to supply water to the people of Patan city which is world famous as Rani ni Wow. This step well is a unique example of sculpture and architecture. The seven stories of the Rani ki Wow is like a wonder. Each of the stone of seven stories of step well is finely and beautifully carved. Step well has seven charokas that is windows. Lord Vishnu can be seen seated in every window. Steppel has a beautiful idol of Lord Dashavatar. In addition in the steppel many deities, nymphs and scenes of social life are carved on the stones indeed. Rani ni Wow is an epic of human beauty carved in the stone. In 2014 UNESCO designated Rani ni Wow as the world heritage site. The Rudra Mahalia of Siddhpur built by Sidra Jay Singh is considered to be a unique architecture of Gujarat. Being a Shaivite, Sidraj associated the name of Mahalia with Rudra. 
according to some historians it must have been a seven storied palace with jorokas although presently only one story exists it includes architecture of columns and torans students rudra mahalia is located in siddhapur on the banks of river saraswati in patan district of north gujarat today it is in a state of broken but at once it was the magnificent wide and incomparable architecture of gujarat rudra mahalia was built by solanki king jay singh of patan actually solanki king mulraj one started to build rudra mahalia and sidraj jay singh built and completed it Being a Shaivite, Sidraj associated the name of Mahalia with Rudra. According to some historians, the Rudra Mahalia should have seven-storied palace with jorokas. Although at present only one story exists, the pillars, jorokas, the beautifully sculpted toranas, etc., of the Rudra Mahalia give an overview of its rich architecture. Malav Lake in Dholka and Munsar Lake in Viramgam were built on the order of Sidraj's mother Meenal Devi. Shahastra Ling Lake was built in Patan during the reign of Sidraj Jai Singh. Apart from this the Kirti Toran and the Sharmishtha Lake are the places of interest in Vadnagar. Students Sidraj Jai Singh built Malav Lake in Dholka and Munsar Lake in Viramgam on the order of his mother Meenal Devi. He built Shahastra Ling Lake in Patan. Kirti Toran and Sarmishta Lake are the places of interest in Vadnagar in Gujarat. The city of Ahmedabad was established by Ahmad Shah in 1411 AD. During the Sultanate period, the capital was shifted to Ahmedabad from Patan. The special architectures of Ahmedabad include Fort of Ahmedabad, Fort of Badrakali and Jama Masjid. Fort is included in the World Heritage Site. The Jama Masjid of Champaner, the Fort of Champaner, and the Steppel of Rani Rudha Devi of Adalaj are famous architecture. Among other architectures of Gujarat, Hoze Kutub, that is Kakaria Lake and Nagina Wadi, the Boys Fort, Kambat, and Dolka's Mosque can be considered as major architectures. Students. Ahmedabad city is a historical city of Gujarat. It was the capital of Gujarat. Sultan Ahmad Shah of Gujarat established Ahmedabad city in 1411 AD. The main architectures include the Badra Fort, Jama Masjid, Siddhi Sayyid Jali, Shaking Minarets, Rani Sipri Mosque, then Hoze Kutub that is Kakaria Lake known today and Nagina Wadi and many more. The Siddhi Sayyid Jali is world famous among special architectures of Ahmedabad. Window of Siddhi Sayyid Jali has special type of lattice work. It is extremely fine carving in stone. It is considered as one of the finest architectural specimens in the world. Students, Siddhi Sayyid Jali that is grill is special and world famous architecture of Ahmedabad. It is located in a mosque near Lal Darwaza in Ahmedabad. It was built by soldier Siddhi Sayyid of Shamsuddin Muzaffar Shah III. The two grills in stone wall of mosque are world famous for extremely fine carving. The figures of tree branches in one lattice and the geometric patterns in the other lattice are made by carving in stone which is considered as one of the finest architectural specimens in the world know this sultan qutub shah of ahmedabad built a lake called hoze qutub which later on came to be known as kakaria lake he also developed a garden in the middle of the lake which is known as nagina wadi students uh previously i told you about the kakaria lake built in ahmedabad it was built by sultan qutub shah of ahmedabad at that time it was known as uh, hoze qutub later on it was given the name of kakaria lake which is uh, today also known as kakaria lake and there is a garden in middle of the lake the name of this garden is nagina wadi a jain sage named padalipta suri built jain temples on shetrunjay hill in palitana Pavapuri and Palitana are the places with maximum temples on the hill in one place in the world. All the 24 Tirthankars are seated here. 
लाइक पावापुरी एंड समेत शिखर पालिताना इज ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट पिलग्रीमेज साइट फॉर द जैन्स स्टूडेंट्स अ जैन सेज नेम्ड पदलिप्त सूरी बिल्ट अ जैन टेम्पल ऑन शेत्रुंजया हिल इन पालिताना अबाउट सिक्सटी किलोमीटर फार फ्रॉम भावनगर देर आर मेनी टेम्पल्स लोकेटेड यर Palitana is the place with the maximum temples on the hill in one place in the world. Shetrunjay Hill is considered a place of Rishabh Nath ji that is Adi Nath ji the first Tirthankara of the Jains. Here 24 Tirthankaras are seated and Palitana is a great pilgrimage site for the Jains. The architecture of the temples of Palitana is unique and the best. Palia is one of the unique architectures in Gujarat. Some stories of valor are connected with Palias. Most Palias of such warriors are built on the battlefield or at the place of their death. These Palias were worshipped once in a year as per the date of their death. The best examples of Palia in Gujarat include Suraj Kuwar Bano Palio in Bhuchar Mori near Jamnagar and Hamir Ji Gohil Palia near Somnath Temple. Students Palia has a special place in the architecture of Gujarat. It is the unique architecture of Gujarat. The monument or pillar built in memory of the hero who was martyred in the battle while standing in front of the enemies is called Palia. The brave women who had performed Jauhar or Sati, their Palia is also made. It is called Sati's Palia. Each Palia is associated with the story of a hero's sacrifice. The palias of warriors are built on the battlefield or at the place of their death. The palias were worshipped once in a year as per the date of their death. A fair is also held at palia. People applaud the sacrifice of the hero by putting vermilion on the palia. The best examples of palia in Gujarat include Suraj Kuwar Bano Palio of Puchar Mori near Jamnagar. and hamir ji gohil palia near somnath temple painting the progress in the art of painting dates back to the time of babur there were special texts on painting like gulshan chitravali hamznama a gallery was set up in agra under the leadership of a great painter named akariza painters of this period have specially painted pictures of animals birds and flowers making of portraits dates back to the time of akbar while special festivals and occasions were also painted during the time of jahangir like the mughal painting mewar jaipur marwar and kota styles are famous in rajasthan the gujarati style was eloquent simple depicting story element it was vivid and had a touch of folk element in it students mughal paintings were famous in all over the world mughal rulers used to invite the best painters in their court painting was progressed in india from the time of mughal emperor babur the text on painting named gulshan chitravali and hamza nama were composed during mughal rule a gallery was set up in agra under the leadership of a great painter named akariza Painters of this period have specially painted pictures of animals, birds and flowers. Making of portraits started in the time of Mughal Emperor Akbar, while special festivals and occasions were also painted during the time of Jahangir. In the time of Mughal period, paintings of Mewar, Jaipur, Marwar and Kota style are famous in Rajasthan. During that time, the Gujarati style was eloquent, simple and depicting story elements it was expressed vividly and had a touch of folk element music indian sufi music as well as islamic sufi music began during the sultanate in this field amir khosro created qawali and introduced khayal paddhati instead of drupad sarang dev of devgiri wrote a book called sangeet ratnakar and haripal dev of gujarat wrote a book called sangeet sudhakar tansen was a great artist associated with classical singing in akbar's time students during delhi sultanate period 
Islamic Sufi music began with Indian music. Amir Khusro was a great musician in this time. He created Qawwali. He also introduced Khayal Padati instead of Drupad. In this period, Sarang Dev of Devgiri, he wrote a book called Sangeet Ratnakar and Haripal Dev of Gujarat, he wrote a book called Sangeet Sudhakar. Mughal Emperor Akbar was a connoisseur of music. Tansen in his court associated with classical singing was a great artist. He composed many rags. Literature In the Middle Ages, many writers have created significant texts by understanding different subjects. The information of some of the texts is as follows. Text and Composer Siddhem Sabdhanushasan Hem Chandracharya Geet Govindam Jaydev Hitop Desh Narayan Siddhanta Shiromani and Lilavati Bhaskaracharya Prithviraj Raso Chand Bardai Tugluk Nama and Tariq e Delhi Amir Khushro Kitabul Rihla Ibn Batuta Kanha De Prabandh Padnab Padmavat Mohammad Jayasi Then know this Bhasya has written Ramanuja Charya, Kavya Prakash, Mammat, Mana Solasa, Sumeshwar Three, and Kitabul Hind by Al Baruni. Students, in the Middle Age, many writers like uh, Hem Chandracharya, he has written a book on grammar which was known as Siddhem Shabdanushasan, then uh, Geet Govindam, it was written by poet Jaydev. Then the book called Hitop Desh, it was written by Narayan, Siddhant Shiromani and Lilavati by Bhaskaracharya, Prithviraj Raso, it was written by Chand Bardai, Tugluk Nama and Tariq e Dilli was written by Amir Khushru, Kitabul uh, Rihla by Ibn Batuta, uh, Kanhade Prabandh by Padnam, then Padmavat was written by Muhammad Jayasi, so these were the significant texts created um, in those times. Folk Dances and Handicrafts Gujarat has become famous all over the world for its folk culture, folk dances, handicraft and embroidery. It also includes drama like Bhavai. The credit for writing and enacting goes to Asait Thakur. In the Jalawar area, pastoralist now, that is cattle rearers, they play a special type of ras called hudo. People from various parts of country and abroad come to see hudo in Gujarat at the time of Tarnetar Fair. Students, Gujarat has become famous all over the world for its folk culture, folk dances, handicraft and embroidery, bhavai, plays, garba, ras, etc. It reflects the folk culture of Gujarat. Bhavai is a very old special type of drama art. Scholars have called Bhavai as Bhava Pradhan Nataku. The credit to write and enact Bhavai goes to Asad Thakur. Ras means to sing in a circle with a moving dance. In the Jalawar area of Gujarat, pastoralists that is cattle rearers, they play a special type of Ras called Hudu. People from various parts of country and abroad come to see Hudo in Gujarat at the time of Tarnetar Fair. Navratri Garba festival is important in Gujarat. The pride of Gujarat Garba is associated with the worship and praise of Goddess Shakti. From the time of Dayaram, Garbi progressed a lot. Both men and women celebrate this festival in Navratri playing Garba, Garbi and Ras. Students, Garba is played during Navratri festival in Gujarat. The word Garba is derived from the word Garbi. It is a symbol of worship and praise of Goddess Shakti. From the time of Dayaram, Garbi was progressed a lot. Men and women celebrate this festival in Navratri by playing Garba, Garbi and Ras. Gujarat has a variety of costumes in which embroidery of kutch, beadwork, patola of patan, bandhani of jamnagar and jetpur have become world famous. 
embroidery work done by ladies of bunny and khadir areas of kutch is in great demand all over the world in the same way patola of patan associated with special weaving has become world famous from 11th to 12th centuries students there are many varieties in the costumes of the people of gujarat in the art of gujarat embroidery and bead work of kutch patola of patan bandhni with beautiful design of jamnagar and jetpur embroidery work done by ladies of bunny and khadir areas of kutch etc have become famous in all over the world patola of patan made by skilled weavers has become world famous from 11th to 12th centuries patola is famous for its durable weaving and lined colors in all over the world there is a saying for its lined colors padi patole bhat फाटे पन फिटे नहीं इट मीन्स द डिजाइन लेड डाउन इन पटोला शाल नेवर फेड इवन इफ द क्लॉथ मे बी टोन अर्बनाइजेशन इट वॉज द टाइम ऑफ द रिनायसिस एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सिटीज न्यू सिटीज इमर्ज इन प्लेस ऑफ द सिटीज ऑफ द गुप्ता पीरियड द कैपिटल्स ऑफ द राजपूत एरा मोस्टली टर्न इन टू सिटीज इन गुजरात स्पेशल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अनिलवाड़ पाटन चंपानेर अहमदाबाद सूरत कंबत टुक प्लेस स्टूडेंट्स द दिल्ली सल्तनत एंड द मुगल रूल वर अ टाइम ऑफ अर्बन रिवाइवल एंड डेवलपमेंट न्यू सिटीज वर एस्टाब्लिश इन प्लेस ऑफ द सिटीज ऑफ द गुप्ता पीरियड द कैपिटल्स ऑफ द राजपूत एरा वर मोस्टली टर्न इन टू सिटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिटीज लाइक अनिलवाड़ पाटन चंपानेर अहमदाबाद सूरत कंबत Baruch they were developed the extremity of urbanization is seen in delhi it developed from the rajput period to the mughal period during the time of jahangir and shah jahan delhi was the capital and a major center of trade and commerce shah jahan built the red fort and expanded delhi students the best example of urbanization is found in delhi from the rajput period to the mughal period Delhi has been developing continuously in the time of Jahangir and Shah Jahan Delhi was the capital and a major center of trade and commerce Shah Jahan built the red fort and expanded Delhi Lahore Jaunpur and Dhaka developed as cities during this period as they came on the way of trade route Amritsar was also an important urban center due to Sikhism In South India Devgiri that is Daulatabad was a prosperous urban center connecting north and south Cities like Pune Satara Gwalior and Vadodara developed during the Maratha empire while Daman Diu Goa Mumbai Chennai Puducherry Kochi Chandranagar and Surat developed specially as urban center with the arrival of European companies Students Lahore Jaunpur and Dhaka they developed as cities during Mughal period as they came on the way of the trade route then Amritsar was an important urban center due to the big pilgrimage of Sikhism in South India also Devgiri which is known as Daulatabad became a prosperous urban center connecting North India and South India then cities like Pune Satara Gwalior and Vadodara were developed in the Maratha empire During the British rule due to the trade and commerce of European companies places like Diu Daman Goa Mumbai Chennai Puducherry Kochi Chandranagar Surat etc were developed as urban centers The capital of Vijayanagar was Hampi Foreign travelers who came to Hampi have briefed about Hampi's unique craft industries Goods including cotton cloth, silk cloth and spices were sent from Vijayanagar to Europe. Three types of gold coins have been found in Hampi, indicating that Hampi was a major center of trade and commerce. Students, Hampi was the capital of Vijayanagar. Foreign travelers who came to Hampi have briefed about Hampi's unique craft ideas and their industries. Goods including cotton cloth, silk cloth and spices were sent from Vijayanagar to Europe. Three types of gold coins have been found in Hampi. It indicates that Hampi was a major center of trade and commerce. 
After the ports of Baruch and Kambath in Gujarat, Surat was an important trading center of India, especially in the 16th century. World famous merchants like Virji Vora and Gopi Malik lived in Surat. Muslin, cotton textile, and shipbuilding industries flourished in Surat in the 17th century. World's largest trade of jari embroidery textile took place from Surat only. Students, Surat was an important trading center of India in the 16th century and world famous merchants like Virji Vora and Gopi Malik lived in Surat. World's largest trade of jari embroidery textile took place from Surat only. Surat was an international port. So many trade associations of India and European were found here. Surat also had large godowns of spices, cotton and silk fabric and indigo. Due to the industries operating in Surat, foreign trade ancillary skill industries such as warehouses, packing, shipbuilding industries, housing arrangements, weaving, printing, metallurgy were extensively developed. Students, Surat was an international port, so many trade associations of India and Europe were found here. Due to the industries operating in Surat, foreign trade, ancillary skill industries such as warehouses, packing, shipbuilding industry, housing arrangements, weaving, printing, metallurgy, etc. were extensively developed here. Students, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel Asma Babwani. Click on the bell icon to get the latest updates, like the videos, share the videos and do comment on all the videos.